This tutorial shows you how to define fiber orientation in composite materials. So let's say we have this tube that we want to crush and let's say we want the fibers in the longitudinal direction. That would be the Z direction. So if we look at the manual and let's say star mat, orthotropic elastic, this parameter defines how the fiber is oriented or the fibers are oriented. So if we look at the description of this parameter, we will see there are multiple options. So for example, there is option zero. Okay, so A option equal to zero. Uh, if you look at the manual, it's not very clear 100%, but what it is equal zero the material principal direction it will be defined by the element node uh, numbers so let's say at the edge of the element the node goes from 1 to 2 then the fiber is in the direction 1 to 2 and as a result if I want to uh, define the fiber orientation for this example to be in the Z direction all these nodes in the element has to be 1 2 1 2 1 2 of each element Normally, preprocessors cannot do this in general, so that's difficult to define. The next option of defining fiber orientation is uh, option number one, which says locally orthotropic with material axis determined by a point in space and the global location of the element center. So in this case, for instance, if I want to define fibers along the Z direction, I have to define a point in space. So looking at the input file, star mat damage, uh, star mat composite damage, then I set A option equal to one. Uh, then what I need to do, I need to define coordinates of a point in space. Coordinate of a point in space. So I need to fill this with a coordinate of a point in space. So if I define it, let's say a point right there, I put coordinate of a point right there, all these elements direction uh, or material direction for these elements will be from the center of the element to this point, which means that different elements will have different fiber directions. So this point has to be to infinity, basically. So the center of the element to that point defines the material principal direction. The other option is option number two. Option number two is easier to uh, define. And then option number three and option number four. So let me talk about option number uh, three and then I'll get back to option number two. Option number three is basically, uh, so if I put option number three here, what I need to define, I need to define the V vector, component of a V vector. So then the fiber direction will be the cross product of this V vector with the shell normal direction. So I need to make sure that I know the normal direction of the fiber. The normal direction of the fiber crossed with this V vector gives the principal material direction. Also sometimes easy to define. So for instance, in this case, if I put, if the shell normals are, let's say, in the Y direction, and then I define the component of the V vector in the Z direction, then the cross product of these will be a vector in the X direction. That would be the fiber direction. Okay, so that's how you define. For this example, I would rather uh, define it by option number two which is global orthotropic with material axis determined by a vector defined below. The below, uh, actually, they are talking about, so if I do option A, option two, it would be the A vector and the D vector. That's what's going to be. So the A vector defines the principal material direction. So if, I, if you want to have fibers along the z direction then the component of the a vector will be 0 0 and 1 
and then the d vector will be simply perpendicular to that so it will be 0 1 0 the material direction will be along the a vector which is a1 a2 and a3 that determines the principal material direction